Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to use Adobe Spark Post. Um, when you open the app, you're going to see a lot of these templates that are available for you to use. They're categorized in different ways, uh, business, school, travel, seasonal, collage, and premium. You'll notice that there are little yellow shields over some of the templates. That's an indication that that's a premium template and that you would need to have a premium membership in order to remix it. Uh, what I'd like you guys to do is just kind of scroll through, get a sense of some of the designs that exist, and each one you can click on and then you can use in your own designs however you see fit. So in this particular one, we're going to click and then choose Remix This Template, and it's going to open up an editable palette where you can start to make changes. We're going to start by clicking on um, the text here, and if you double click on it, it's going to open a text box where you can change the text. So I'm going to uh, change this design into something that's about the COVID-19 outbreak. So I added COVID-19, and now I'm clicking on the text underneath, and I'm going to change it to something um, that would make sense as like a WPA poster for COVID-19. So here I'm using uh, STAY HOME in all caps. And then you have this little tab on the side of your text that if you click and drag, you can rearrange where it's located. You can also change its size. So here I'm just making it fit within that little square. And now I can click on any of the images. And when I click on the image, it's gonna give me the option to replace that image. And I can search through hundreds and thousands of images that are free stock images that come with Adobe Spark. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the plant images with images of home or images of loneliness, uh, since we're all currently in isolation, in quarantine. So that's what my poster is gonna be about. So I'm going through and I'm picking images that all have a similar aesthetic, that look like they work well together, um, but that fit the theme of the poster that I'm designing. So yeah, we'll use this little puppy dog. And you'll notice that you can, after you choose the photo, you can move it and click it to change where it's located, but you can also pinch to zoom in and zoom out. So we have one more photo that we need to place down at the bottom. Let's see if we can find something that'll work for our design. So this doesn't work that well. I think I'm gonna change it to something that's a little bit more plain. So I remember seeing a uh, empty space. I'm gonna choose that. And then I can start to make other adjustments. If you click on colors, it's gonna show you the colors that come in the design, but it's also gonna give you suggested colors that pull from the images that you've selected. Every time you press the little arrows, it'll remix your colors and rearrange them until you're happy with your design. When you're happy with it, you're just gonna press the save post button, and then it's gonna save it to your Spark collection. You can always press the back button to go search for other um, templates to start to remix. So now that we know the basics of working with Adobe Spark, we're going to talk about some of the details and some of the other things that you can do with this program that are really beneficial for design. So let's go ahead back to Spark Post and find another template to remix. Here you can see there's lots of options uh, from featured to collage to animation. You can navigate through. Again, if you want to use a premium template, you can. It's just going to require you to pay for it. My advice would be to click on the template to enlarge it, see if you like its basic design, its basic composition, knowing that you can make a lot of changes to it. And if you're happy with the basic design and composition, it might be a good template to use for your design. Now if you're not finding a design that works for you, you can always search through the templates using a keyword. So here I'm going to use the keyword funny and see what sort of templates I get. I really like this one down here called Girl Buzz, so I'm going to click on that and choose Remix This Template. Once again, I want to remix this template from a magazine cover to something that relates to COVID-19. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the picture. I can see that they use the, the key term fashion for this picture. I'm going to change my key term to lonely. So I'm going to use this image right here of a woman with her hands over her face. And then I want to start to change some of the text around the image. So I'm double clicking on the word girl buzz and I'm going to put in stop touching your face since that's one of the things they want us to do now that we're dealing with the COVID-19 outbreak. When you're happy with your text and the layout looks good, you'll press the check mark and you can see that you can resize it, but you can also make other changes as well and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's move down here to the bottom and change the text to the bottom that says fourth issue for April and we're going to turn this into something that matches our design a little bit better. I'm going to change it to say prevent infection. 
I'm going to use the uh, pull out menu on the side to change its size and location. And now I'm going to select my font again, but here I'm going to click on the option that says font and it's going to allow me to change the actual typeface that I'm working with, something that'll fit my design a little bit better. There's plenty that are preloaded into Spark that you can use, or if you have a premium membership, you can change and add other fonts that you've downloaded off the internet. But since there's so many here, I think I'm going to just choose one that's already preloaded in the program. I really like this font. I'm going to go with this for my design. Now I'm also going to add a shape in the background because I just want to change the layout a little bit more. So here I've selected a shape that gives it kind of a nice triangular um, border around my text. And you can see there's lots of shapes to choose from. And I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to play with um, maybe some uh, transparency. I really like the way this looks, so I think I'm going to work with this. But once again, whenever you see the two crossed arrows, if you keep clicking it, it'll keep remixing your design. I'm going to change the size, and then I think I'm also going to change the alignment. Just like working in any of the other Adobe programs, all of these symbols should be familiar to you. So if you want to change your alignment, you want to change your opacity, you know what to look for. I'm going to go back in and edit my colors. I'm going to choose one of the suggested palettes, and I'm going to remix it a couple times until I'm really happy with the layout. Again, it's pulling colors directly from the photo that I've selected, which is really nice because then I know my color story is going to be consistent in my design. When you're happy, you just press done. Then you're going to save it to um, your Spark post template, and you can always download it directly to your phone. All right, let's do one more design. We'll do a couple of additional advanced features, and then I think you're gonna be ready to start playing with this program and really seeing what it can do for you. So once again, let's search through our templates and let's find something that, uh, that fits our overall aesthetic. I'm using the word magazine, and I'm gonna look for something that's like a magazine cover. Now, I really like these bold uh, graphics that are hidden kind of behind big pieces of font, so I'm gonna use this template to remix. Now it's treating this word as individual letters, so instead of saying undefined, I'm going to have it say quarantine. So I'm going to remix the letters, and I think I'm going to keep everything all caps so that it's consistent in my design. And just like with the other templates we were working with, you can always change the font, you can change the size, and you can change the alignment however you see fit. All right, so I'm going to resize my shapes here so that I have a full background color instead of having the image peek through. I really like the way that looked in the original design, but I'm noticing I have this other additional text here that I don't need. So if you have anything in your design you don't like, you can just select it and delete it. You can always add things back. So I'm going to grab these additional pieces of text that I'm not going to use, and I'm going to go ahead and delete them from my design so that the full word quarantine is all that you see in the design right here. All right, so we have some subtext around the word that we're gonna change. I'm gonna select the most exquisite and then choose um, prevent the spread. That'll be my top text. And then down at the bottom where it says magazine of 2019, I'm gonna change that to COVID-19. Now be careful when you click, on occasion there's gonna be other shapes over top of your images or over top of your text. If you click something you don't need, you can always just press back and then click again. I'm going to resize it and then change its position so it's centered. Now the last thing that I want to show you guys how to do is to adjust the layout. So most of these come with a standardized layout and then when you make those edits and you make those changes, you're changing them to the layout that's already been predetermined. But anytime you work with a template in, in Spark, you can always remix that template in some really interesting ways. So once you've gotten your colors selected and you're happy with your overall design, I would encourage you guys to play with your layout. And so if you go back to uh, your basic edit and choose done, if you click on the bottom left, there's an option called layout. And it's going to give you a lot of different ways in which you can work. 
So we can see here that this particular layout is one big bold layout, but when you start pressing on the other ones, it takes the design that you've that you've created and it starts to remix it for you. And so you can see that even if you have the same images, the same fonts and the same colors, just by changing the composition and the layout, you can start to get some really interesting and new designs. I'm going to go ahead and change my picture so that it matches my design a little bit better. And I'm going to go back into my layout option and I'm going to just kind of remix this a little bit to see what works best. In addition to changing the layout, you can also change the border and the color and the design. So you can scroll through other pre-preloaded designs and choose those, or you can stick with the design that you started with and start to make some adjustments. So once you have a design that you're pretty happy with, you can always go back in and start to make minor adjustments. Like here you can see I'm just moving the font so it's a little bit more legible. And once again, when you're happy with it, you just save it to your Spark post board and then you can save it to your phone. And that's it. Now you're ready to start working with Adobe Spark to make your designs. Thank you guys.